Good morning. Oh, a little bit too much cleavage there. Good morning, everyone. What's the time? Oh, my God, what is the time? The time is quarter past eight. I've got an hour until I'm going down to London until the taxi picks me up to take me to the train station. And I'm just kind of doing my makeup and getting myself ready for the day. Today is just a day of work in London, nothing massively exciting. I get to see some lovely people from the industry, but other than that, it's... Where's my... <laughs> I'm literally... This NARS eyebrow pencil. I don't even know what shade it's in. Oh no! You know when you forget to look at the shade and it's all rubbed off? I don't even know what shade this is. But I've used this non-stop and... It's literally falling apart. My spoolie brush is broken off, and this is the very last of this eyebrow pencil, so I might try and pick this up today, but I don't know what color it is. I might have to take it with me and be like, tell me what this is. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of using like the brush of this one, and then what's left of this one, but I can't remember where I was going with that conversation. Yeah, I get to see some lovely people from work, like side of things today and I don't think it's too like too hectic or anything like that. I think I've got a few meetings. I've also got a peel with Illumia MD uh, this evening because when I had it done last time, Carrie was so excited by it that I got her one for Christmas and she's having that done today and I'm having mine. I think I'm supposed to have my, I'm supposed to have the glow peel today. What is with my dressing gown? Sorry guys. <laughs> PG-13. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to have the glow peel today, the one where it's most likely that my skin is going to peel, but I don't think I'm gonna have it because my skin really like reacted well from the Radiance one, so I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what they say. I also need to check in with their skincare because I've not really been using all of it as I should have been. I've been using the cleanser and I've been using like the, what's it called, the SPF and the eye cream I love. But some of the like resurfacing products are just a little bit too harsh for my skin. So I was literally constantly walking around with my face like this. I couldn't move it, I was like, <laughs> that's kind of what I have to do with them today. But first up, I've got a few like little meetings and catch ups and a lovely train journey down with my best friend. So that's kind of what we're doing today, really. And usually I start vlogging on a day like today when I'm going to London and then I just like stop and there is just no need for me to do that. So I'm gonna stick out vlogging this year. I feel like I vlog best under pressure. Does that make sense? Like if I know I have to get a video out, I vlog better. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, but I've had the most amazing delivery as well today. Oh, a delivery of diamonds. Sadly, they're not mine to keep, but oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. I'm gonna show you them in a bit, but I'm going to focus on getting my makeup on first off. Weirdly enough, I've been loving doing my over the eye flicks again recently. I kind of went off that just purely because it takes such a long time, but I'm kind of enjoying doing it. And so when I'm going like out of the house, I feel like I need to reposition you. Hi. Yeah, when I'm like going out of the house, I, what do you mean going out of the house? I mean, if I'm going like for an important day, I like to do it, so, and I look really orange today. I'm seriously not this orange. I'm not, it's the lights, I blame the lights. So I'm gonna do this. And the thing is, I'm spending so much time on my makeup and they're gonna take it off when I have my peel. So I don't even know why I'm bothering. Well, that didn't go very well. <laughs> I'm using the Guerlain eyeliner as well. It's so good. Mm, I think that's all right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. What is this bit of hair? Ooh, looks like a rat's tail. It's time for a new mascara. And I have this one in bulk, so let's get it open. Sounds as though peeps are arriving to make a start on the finishing of the week. Yeah, Ken and Graham are here basically. They actually don't have them for much longer, which is quite sad. I mean, it doesn't mean that we're finished. Oh no, we are definitely not finished in the house, but it's time that we have our house back for a while because we have had a lot of stuff done. So I think it's gonna be a few months of no kind of house updates, 
really after they've gone although i will be doing my room tours which is very very exciting although our bathroom still has to happen so that might happen at like weekends and ken will come at the weekend but yeah we kind of we just need some time to ourselves again <laughs> Forgetting something, but makeup is kind of done. But this light, this light is making me look jaundiced. I'll show you when the the sun is up a little bit more. everyone I think the light is a little bit better now and you can see that I've not done my makeup orange it does match everything I promise <laughs> I'm all kind of dressed now as well and I've clipped my hair back a little bit a little bit different I've got some clips in my hair just pulling it off my face which makes it actually so much easier when it's weather like this when it's blustery and cold it means it's just not getting in my face and I actually really like it looking good I need to choose a fragrance to wear which Oh, I don't know what to go for. Maybe, oh, let's go for Tangier Vanille Door. Pop some of this on. And I'll take it with me in my bag as well, just in case. Also, just quickly to show you my outfit, I've actually got black trousers on and a black shirt are we zoomed in i feel like we're zoomed in we are zoomed in <laughs> let me take my coat off just to show you so i've just gone for an all black outfit today black wide leg trousers which are linked in the description box down below and then i've gone for a black shirt which is old from pretty little things so i think it might not be linked but that's kind of the outfit of the day then i've also got my prada bag on and some manolo blahnik bbs and then my coat is my super snug tibby coat because I don't have a jumper on I do have a vest on because I am so bougie like that but I thought this coat would probably keep me super warm and super snug for a day running around London so I'm gonna go downstairs now oh let me show you my diamonds oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this collection I literally want to wear this ring all day look how sparkly it is oh that is gorgeous this whole collection is stunning, unfortunately. Like I said, it's not mine. Look at these earrings, oh my goodness. I'm shooting this for a campaign with them and oh, I just, I can't deal. I wear one of my necklaces from Mappin and Webb pretty much every day. This is my sapphire one and if you can see that, I love it a lot. So I wear it every day. But I can't be the only person that thinks that every Friday should start with diamonds arriving to their front door. I think that this should be a thing, and Lydia for president. <laughs> but that's quite enough diamonds for one day. I'm gonna jump in my taxi now and head to meet Carrie. Not a fan. Oh, you're gonna blow your nose? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, can I blow my nose really quickly? Turn the camera on. No. Turn it off! <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Do it like old man. Yeah, like. <laughs> full on Dumbo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait. I'm not blowing my nose on camera. Okay, I'll edit it. You're, you're going to edit it anyway. I <laughs> 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 edit out your all your sniffles from the Armani video. You're Did right, little honker. Was I? Yeah. Oh, I'm so cozy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a proper sloth in that video. Literally, the whole the next day, I just didn't even bother, like getting makeup on or anything. We just chilled in the room and it was lovely. Loved it. Yes, I'm with Miss Carrie Grayson and we are on our way to our first meeting with the one and only Miss Charlotte Fielder. And I'm very excited to see her because I haven't seen her in ages. So it's gonna be good to catch up and hear what she's got to chat about. And all I can think about is the diamonds that are on my center island right now. I can't stop thinking about them. I said, I said to Carrie, I was like, my diamonds arrived this morning. I mean, they're not my diamonds. They're not. I wish they were, but they're not. And uh, I can't stop thinking about them. They're so sparkly. I like sparkly things. I didn't used to, but now I do. You're like a magpie. 
Hmm, I am. I just like sparkly things. Carrie's got her new shoes on as well. She treated herself to some French sole. French sole. But yeah, so we're ready for a day in London and I am actually snug as a bug. Although it's supposed to be 11 degrees today, so. It doesn't feel it. No, it doesn't feel it, but I'm glad I wore this. Although I do admit that I probably look like a pimp. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> so we finished up for the day with meetings and finally Carrie is getting her Christmas present that I promised her. Basically Carrie was so in awe of my skin when I had my peel last time I came to Illumia MD that I promised her that she would get one. So she's in the hot seat. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> I love that this is my best angle. <laughs> Literally, I can see the soles of your it's feet. Like, go, go full, full nostril. <laughs> so is Victoria going to be doing Carrie's peel and I'm going to be having my peel done by Emma. Is that right? Okay. Oh, yeah, oh okay, cool. Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah. So I'm actually, I was supposed to be having the glow peel this time. And oh, no, again. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Did I, I think I told you last time I was like, yeah, we're going to have the glow peel and we're going to go in and I'm going to have all the harsh stuff. And then I had the radiance peel. I loved the radiance peel. And this time it was always going to be that I was going to have the glow peel. However, I think that at the moment, whilst I get my skin to like a much better place, I do think that the radiance peel works for me. So I'm actually sticking with the radiance peel and I loved it. The effects were perfect. And for me, if I'm ever having like big events, that's what I'm going to be booking in for. So that's what I'm having this time. And I don't feel like I'm not getting the like the one that's going to be most beneficial because my skin for weeks afterwards I stopped getting all of the bumps around here and it was just perfect so anyway enough about me Carrie's gonna have her peel now so I'm really excited for her and I'm excited for her to experience the skin that, that I have <laughs> she's literally getting her bib sorted at the moment Victoria is back in the house I'm gonna dribble <laughs> it's so exciting Millie, you literally corrupt me. I know, literally. I, <laughs> I, didn't even, like, I never used to highlight for six years. I know. Friends, and now you're just like, chemical peel. <laughs> <laughs> Life changing. It's so um, funny. I'm going to ask you to pop this on, please, and just conceal the front of your hair. Yes. Thank you. I'm so excited for you. This is great. Watch out for all your piercings that you now have that you didn't have before. That you corrupted me with as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm Cal this time. Yeah, the roles are reversed. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. Okay, right, let's just keep you nice and tidy for the video, for goodness sake. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you have OCD too. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking undone, darling, with all these followers. Okay, so I'm going to start off um, with a really gentle cleanse. This is going to... Um, I'm gentle with it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to remove your makeup, it's going to remove the London smog, it's going to remove cellular debris, but there's no soap or sulfates in this at all, so it's going to leave the barrier on the skin intact, it's not going to overstrip any oils, and it's not going to make your skin feel dry or tight. Okay, so this is the big reveal when I get to see your skin with no makeup on. <gasps> <Not really. laughs> I feel like her skin doesn't look that much no, different. No, it doesn't. No, it really doesn't. Because you just wear the um, It Cosmetics thing, don't you? Yeah, I put foundation on when I come to London, but like... Mostly we don't get that. We don't get that kind of treatment at my house. No, at your house I literally wear nothing. <laughs> she doesn't even straighten her hair. Didn't I don't even brush her hair. <laughs> Today is the first day I've brushed my hair this year. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you notice that Cal has the same alfalfa sprouts as you, so you and Cal's like sat at the desk in my office. Oh, don't like, say things like that. That means everyone, all the subscribers are going to be like, okay. oh, that means that Carrie and Cal should be together. Like they always try and pair me with whatever man is in a video. Oh. <laughs> because Carrie hasn't had a boyfriend like since she's been in my vlogs. Um, she's just been... Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm still with my ex when we Yeah, but he was never really it. seen. He wasn't like been no, seen in my like vlogs. The... So uh, uh, in YouTube capacity, that means they don't exist. Oh yeah, fair enough. And um, so they're always constantly trying to like they try yeah, to shoot any, me with any, any, male, any man. Any man that's but in my vlog, yes. Yeah, that's, that's Carrie's husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so see Carrie and this man together. Yeah. And then I the should, next video, she's like, I ship this Carrie and this man. <laughs> so this is pre rosacea. You do have broken veins and capillaries on the skin. 
and these little pimples um, are where the inflammation has reached the pilosebaceous unit, which is another word for hair follicle, which is another word for pore. Okay. So the program that I've designed for you is just going to target all of these symptoms and the pathology within the skin. Is it bad? Is it bad at all? Normal. Yeah, very normal so young with this particular skin condition. We are meant to be. We are meant to be. Oh, if only you could see that we are meant to be. So Carrie's just had her peel, now it's my turn. I spent a lot of time on my makeup this morning but this is gonna be so worth it, going home on the train with like, oh, perfect skin, so I'm really excited. I'm tinted balm, do you want tinted balm? I have tinted balm. Is this what friends are for or what? Here you go, tinted balm. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, love. Okay, so same cleanser. I've got, yeah, I've got power fabric Except on it. Makeup on. You don't mess with power fabric. <laughs> it goes on like war paint. It's literally like when foundation says it will last 24 hours, power fabric like a month. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff does not budge. Yeah. It's the, the, you can hold your house up with it. <laughs> it's the foundation when I mean business. I'm like, yeah. I don't need to look at myself in the mirror for the whole day. You just know that yeah. it's good. This is payback for the flattering <laughs> Your skin has definitely improved. Oh, do you think? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. Yeah, the texture of it is really nice. But all I do is love you. Maybe someday you will too. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But like healthy pink. I go so pink though. Like my skin, the moment that you just rub anything on it, it goes pink. So I can imagine how much more pink it goes when it's like. In fact, I'll see back in the video. I'm it looks like on the bottom of your chin, it looks like you have a green beard. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that, should I? I should have left yeah. it and then we would have gone home on the train, I'd be like, hee 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 hee. <laughs> That alone has made a difference to your skin, though. Yeah, this is just so jam-packed with enzymes. And if you imagine a peel, um, a little bit like sandpaper, that will literally resurface the wood that mm -hmm. is your skin. Enzymes are like your polish. Mm -hmm. It's literally like popping candy. Yeah, it's such a nice feeling, though. Mm. That was definitely not nowhere near the last time, I think. And this is what happens as you go on your journey, you can tolerate more and more. So by the time that you get to have the low peel, you'll boss it. You look like a cross between Nigella Lawson and I can't figure out who the other person oh, is. Yes. Now you've said that, I've never... That's it's like, I've been sat here looking at you and I'm like, you're Nigella Lawson and someone else and I can't figure out who the someone else is. Yes. But it's like, if they had a love child, it would be you. Hashtag no makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Morning everyone. Oh, my skin is like fully experiencing the amazing effects of my peel. Carrie loved hers, which I'm so excited about. And they reckoned that my skin is getting a lot more like tolerant of the products because I've been trying to work out how to use the skincare because it was just a bit much for me. So I was like struggling with my face feeling like, Ugh. so now we're working in a different way and working around the products that like I already use. So it's, it's working out well. Um, I have a day at home today. I have actually been up for ages. I had a 6.30 a.m. PT session. It's Monday, by the way. Then I sat down and finished off a video until later on this morning. And now I've just been kind of tying up some loose ends. So I've been doing like washing and stuff because I'm packing for 
Paris again tomorrow morning. Luckily, it's not quite as early as last time's trip. I think I've got to get up at six, which is pretty much a standard time for me, so that's good. And I don't have too much to do at home today, so it's, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of doing work and focusing on getting myself sorted for my trips because I don't like being rushed in the evening. Also, I feel like it's like the, the like perfect opportunity. Basically, I know that I'm gonna have so many questions because I'm using this in this video, but I did just message the girls and I was like, when can I start talking about this? Because literally, this is insane. So on Saturday night, I was getting ready to go out with my friends, we were going for dinner, and I literally had 15, 10, 15 minutes to get my hair done from like blow dried to my usual kind of like straight style that I've been wearing and I did it. Now usually it would take me so much longer, like with straighteners I have to like individually section each piece. With this it is so much quicker. I still do use my straighteners just to like tidy up, like just to curl the ends under a little bit more. This is perfect if you've got like long hair or you like to wear your hair straight, obviously it's amazing, but also if you're like me and you have to straighten your hair before you curl it, this is game changing. It is so quick and I've tried these in the past and I was like, nah, they're not that great. You've never seen me use one on my channel because the ones that I used in the past, they were not good. This one, and I knew when GHD said to me, we're launching like a hot brush, this is called the GHD Glide by the way. I knew that when they were launching a hot brush, it would be like the game changer of hot brushes and it has not disappointed. Give it time, this is what I'll say. Obviously, I'm an ambassador for GHD and I'm working on this campaign, but this video is not part of my campaign with them for this. I am doing this off my own back because I know that you're gonna wanna know a lot more about this and a lot more about how it works its way into my hair care routine. So I'm purely doing this because I love this and I know that so many of you will. Initially, I was like, mm, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure I'm getting on with it. I'm not sure it was doing my hair in the way that I wanted to. And now that I've like, I gave it time and it now is like, I can't, I can't not use this because it just makes everything so much quicker. Whether I'm waving my hair, whether I'm straightening it, you just literally grab bits. And because the, all of the little prongs and bristles are heated, they just, they work so much quicker. They do much bigger kind of sections. And if you've got thick hair like I do, this will revolutionize the way you straighten your hair and kind of giving it a lift. I always use it to lift up these front bits again because they are the first things to kind of flop down after I haven't washed my hair for a day or two. But yeah, I wanted to give it some context because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. You'll see my post in collaboration with GHD coming um, on Instagram and I'm honestly just, I'm obsessed. So make sure you show that image some love because this is just such a proud partnership for me and I bloody love this. I can't believe I've got my straightening time down to this because it's an absolute, I'm gonna say it again, it's an absolute game changer, I'm obsessed. Anyway, so at the weekend I went out with my friends Alex and Sam and we went for dinner to Nonna's in Woven Sands and then we went out for drinks and it was really lovely and then we went to my dad's on Sunday for a roast with my stepmom, and that's kind of what I got up to this weekend. I wasn't as productive as I was last weekend. Last weekend I had the most productive weekend ever. So that's kind of a catch up for the day. And also I feel like I need to show you this because I think that so many of you are gonna like this. So I wanted to show you this. This is a vanity case from Aspinall of London. You might have seen this on my Insta stories, but look at this. I love the pink quilted lining and the most insane mirror, like look at that. And this was a Christmas gift from the brand, but obviously I've worked with them previously and they are just amazing. And the quality craftsmanship is incredible. So I wanted to tell you about this because I know that so many of you love vanity cases as much as I do. They also do a full luggage set in this kind of burgundy, deep wine colored mock crock leather. I'll pop a link in the description box to this, but I've got so much new stuff in that I haven't actually had, had a chance to show you yet, including what I'm wearing. This is another one that you would have seen on my Insta stories. I bought this mango knitted like 
two piece actually it's a little bit low down there but it's a knitted two piece it's kind of blush beige it is so comfortable i love it and usually if i'm going out i wear it with some trainers like my alexander mcqueen trainers go really nicely with this i actually wore it to my dad's yesterday because i was like this is like wearing pajamas and getting away with it so i was very very happy with this find on asos so if it's still in stock i will link it down below but yeah this is a personal favorite i also bought some other stuff as well so if i get a chance i'll do a little fashion show for you in this vlog <laughs> it's the most lovely sunny day today it's freezing out there but it's nice and sunny so i think if i can drag him outside ali's gonna come for a walk in the snowdrops with me yeah Yay! Happy. So I'm in my dressing gown because Ken made me go out to the shed earlier and I couldn't find my coat, so I'm not actually in pajamas. I'm still in my cozy clothes. And Ken's just left and it's the last time he's working for us as much as he has. We've had him for like over two months until May, I think. He's gonna come back at weekends to hopefully finish our bathroom once we get kind of cracking with that. But I've got a really exciting day on Friday because all of our new furniture is being delivered and our new carpet is supposed to go down on Thursday in our bedroom. So even like our cushions, the only thing that's not coming, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, is our curtains because I feel like that would be like just the finishing touch in the entire house. But there'll be a whole video on this fit with Sarah on Friday. So it's going to be really good. But I'm kind of just finishing up for the day. This is like my office up here at the moment. Because if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Twitter, my internet with EE has been down for the second week that we're going into that it's been down. And it's really frustrating. But so far, I'm not doing too badly with getting videos up. Oh, fingers crossed and touch wood that... I'm tethering off my phone at the moment, but sometimes the signal can just completely drop out and I don't know why. So fingers crossed that I can upload it this evening and yeah, it all goes to plan basically. And once I've done that, I am going to, I'm gonna go for a little walk around the garden because Ali just showed me pictures that all of the snowdrops are out and I don't wanna miss it. So I'm gonna head out and have a little walk in the woodland that we've got on the back of us in the snowdrops. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm actually gonna show you something that I'm gonna do. Basically, I'm gonna read one of my Christmas presents because I, my grandma got me possibly the best Christmas present of all. And I think she thinks it was terrible, but it's actually made me so happy. But she got me a, she paid for my subscription to Country Life magazine that I get weekly. And so I've had three weeks so far. And this is the, most recent one that I've had. And to be honest, a lot of the time I don't know what they're talking about in here because it is far too, I don't know, different world to me. But I do love looking at the houses that they've got. So like they've got this house in Buckinghamshire and I just love looking at all of the different types of houses. Uh, where's this one? Suffolk, West Sussex, Dorset, I love it. And I also, one of the things that I really like to check out, if I can find the page, is their travel section. Look, see, even in here, that says about snowdrops. So that's basically why I'm going outside as well. I love this, look at this. Grade two listed Lansdowne Place in Bath. Oh, I'd just love to go and look around that house. But I stumbled across, I stumbled across this. I don't know how you say it, Loch of the Irish. Finn Loch in Northern Ireland. And basically, it's kind of along the same lines as those, the, the igloos, not igloos, the glass domes that we stayed in, in Finland. But it's like a glass bubble in the, like, in Northern Ireland. And they've got a waterfront, waterside spa. And I followed them on Instagram recently. And oh my God, this is the next place that I want to travel to. It is absolutely incredible. I don't know how I would have ever found this if it wasn't for this, but I'm gonna look into it more because I definitely want to go. Maybe it's something we can do for Ali's birthday. But yeah, so that's like literally my favorite Christmas present that I actually didn't tell you about because I didn't do a proper like what we got for Christmas video this year. And I didn't get to tell you that I got this epic subscription to Country Life magazine. So I know that I am like literally ridiculous, but I was so happy my grandma was like, oh, it's just a silly thing. I was like, 
This is the best thing ever, you do realize. <laughs> but I'm gonna put my weddies on and head out for a little walk before packing up my stuff ready to go in the morning to Paris, but I'm not gonna do that with you because I've packed with you so many times before. But I'm, I want to be able to have a little lay down and watch some TV before bed tonight, so that's what I'm gonna do. I almost managed to guilt trip Ali into coming out with me, but he's moaning that he's too busy, so I've come out by myself. A little walk around the garden. It's so weird when you come out here because in the summer it's like really, really overgrown, and uh, when it comes to winter, everything just dies and it goes really like open, and you can see everything. <sighs> I told Ali that I wanted his fire pit to be gone, <laughs> but yeah. So he said there's snowdrops out and about here, so I thought I'd go in search of some snowdrops. Don't know where the Miamas are, and there was some pheasants out here earlier. Literally looked like a polar bear. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I can see the snowdrops. In the summer, I wouldn't be able to walk through here. It would be so overgrown. Look, there's a little patch of snowdrops there. Just waiting to come through. See, just call me Lydia Attenborough. It's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> kind of, you can't even really see them. Oh, I'm scared to step on them. Let's go out here where there's, oh my God, they're everywhere. <gasps> it's the first signs of spring. Look at these. Oh, wow, look at them. <gasps> Proper snowdrops. Look. <gasps> this is what I need to do more of. And since I've been like sorting out my sleeping pattern, just being so much more productive with my days. I have so much more time to do stuff. Like I'd had my whole to-do list done by like 11 o'clock today, so it's great. This is a little log that we can come and sit on. And then you can kind of see just the, the gorgeous like golden hues that are over the fields behind our house. It's lovely, so nice. The birds are singing. I know it's like absolutely freezing out here, but it feels like it's like spring is on its way. Think about it, we're nearly in February. And then when we get to March, we're on the home stretch. So, you know, not that I'm like bothered about the sea. I love all of the seasons, so I'm not particularly bothered whether it's spring, summer, autumn, winter. I enjoy all of the seasons. I've got right out to the fields. You can see down there all of the farmer's hay barrels. And then over here, small fields. You can see the tire tracks where the farmer goes through with his quad bike. <laughs> Love it. It's about you. But if only you could see 